impact of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead of footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next 10 months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. And this place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. And we hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite likely. generation to come out of Spain I mean he has all the traits of some of the great legends that have been there before him the ability to handle the ball in tight spaces his speed of thought and the turn his understanding of the landscape around him the intelligence in reading defensive positioning all those factors which can make him unplayable when he's truly on song yes he'd be my pick too it's going to be all about how they get the best out of him And he's in on goal! Real chance! Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Now it's Rafinha. Look, the defending wasn't too clever in that last chance. The cross had to be denied. And now they can spring out of defence. Paris Saint-Germain, well, Peter, look how far up the fullbacks are getting now. This is really high. And constantly after the ball, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're they're weighing up their options to see how long they can sustain this and, and suppress those wide opposition players. Mbappe looking for options for move. Defence just weren't going to let him past. Now it's Rafinha. De Jong. Ugarte. Now it's Lewandowski. The approach does pay off here. He'll try from distance. Loose and the 
chase is on. It's Marcos Alonso. Up to meet it! Oh, they really should have been made to pay. Oh, good spread. Dembele chasing after it. The fullback is in acres of space. It climbs up big. Oh, not the best of headers. Some should have. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're over to a goal, but it's certainly not for the want of trying. The first half, Barcelona. I've clearly never been through finishing school. General play is good, finishing is awful. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil nil. And the game has already resumed here. Barcelona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And he can clear it away. Just eases him off the ball. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Marcos Alonso, Ferran Torres. Carlos Soler. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. And the shot! It's there! There was no getting to that, no getting to it at all. Expertly done. No other outcome there. That was bang in the corner. Unstoppable. Saint-Germain take the lead. Well, this is a few words of advice and encouragement. This was gone, that's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Thank you. 
here. He's left his man. Skriniar makes the interception. There's the clearance. Come on. And here's Lewandowski. Gavi. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Pressing's intense and it's paid off. Paris Saint-Germain making consecutive changes here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Stood up well to him there. And that's that. 